Hello, this is Sandra Brown of Happiness Past 60. Some of you ladies um, were asking about me doing my devotionals again. And yeah, I've got away from reading on here. Uh, so if you'd like me to do that, let me know if you'd like me to continue doing that. Uh, I'll be reading out of Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. And this one is Daily Devotional Prayers of Peace, Joy, and Hope. It's the note-taking edition. It's like a suede cover. Very nice. And this is November 19th. And this is a prayer, ladies. And then I'll read a couple scriptures. Excuse me. I'll read a couple scriptures that go along with it. My living Lord, I rejoice that you are the living one who sees me. Isn't that nice to know that Jesus sees us? Sometimes um, we feel like no one really sees us. And when I say that, I mean really knows us. What we're thinking, how we're feeling, you know, why we do the things we do. But he does see us. You are far more fully, gloriously alive than I can begin to imagine. When I see you face to face in all your glory, I know I will be awestruck. <sighs> now, though I see in a mirror dimly, my view of you is obscured by my fallen condition. It's true. We are in a fallen condition, even though we're born again. And we don't really see him fully, but we will one day. It's wonderful and rather daunting that you see me with perfect clarity. You know everything about me, including my most secret thoughts and feelings. You understand how broken and weak I am. You remember that I am dust. But in spite of all my flaws and failures, you choose to love me with everlasting love. Help me to remember that the gift of your love was immeasurably costly. You endured unspeakable agony to save me from my sins. You became sin for me so that I might become righteous in you. I love to ponder this wondrous truth. Your perfect righteousness has been credited to me forever. This gift of infinite value has been mine ever since I trusted you as my Savior. I'm so thankful that the living one who sees me always is the same one who loves me eternally. In your saving name, Jesus, amen. And here are the three scriptures that go with that. This is 1 Corinthians 13, 12. Now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully even as I have been fully known. You know, a lot of the situations and the things that happen in our lives or we see in the news and just life events, we're always trying to figure it out because we can't see clearly. It's like through a, a what do they call it here? Like a, it's just in a, maybe like in a clouded mirror. We're trying to see. We're always squinting to see why did this happen? What's going on? And uh, the word of God tells us a lot of what is going on, but we still just see dimly. But one day all the questions that we've ever had will be answered. But right now, just trust in him. And then Psalms 103, 14. He remembers that we are dust. He's merciful to us. He knows that we are but dust. 
He has mercy on us and loves us and understands. He's forgiving. And in 2 Corinthians 5.21, God made him who had no sin, that's Jesus who had no sin, to be sin for us. God made him sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. We just trust in what he did for us. That he died for us. He paid for our sins. He became sin for us. And all we have to do is just merely believe it, trust in him, that he's taken away our sins. That's all. Not a bunch of works or anything else. And we strive after we're born again and we become his. I mean, we strive to do better. Of course we do. But we'll never attain it. We always have to trust in Jesus and what his blood has done for us. So I pray you've all done that. I pray you've all done that. Uh, you can't wait until, say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll receive the Lord when I get um, in my life in better condition or when I quit smoking, when I quit drinking, when I get my temper under control. When uh, you, you, We think of all these things. Don't wait. Do it now because you can't do these things anyhow unless it's through him. So I hope you enjoy that. Now, after this, I've got, so hang in there because I've got, several things that I have bought on Amazon. And uh, I might make that in a, in a separate video. I think I will. So that'll be my next video after this one, things that I bought on Amazon. So I hope you enjoy that. It's kind of fun to see what each one of us buys, the things that we really like. Um, you're probably all getting ready for Thanksgiving one way or the other. And I am too. And I think I might have mentioned before, uh, family were supposed to come into town, but there was some sickness in the family, and uh, so they won't be able to do that. But I've invited uh, two couples from my neighborhood, so there'll be six of us. So I'm going to have Thanksgiving dinner here. So I'll let you know a little more about that. Okay, love all of you. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.